Did you know that over 37 million people in the U.S. alone are living with diabetes? That's a staggering number, and even more concerning is that many don't even know they have it. High blood sugar, often a silent stalker, wreaks havoc within, increasing the risk of heart disease, stroke, kidney failure, and vision problems. But what exactly causes this widespread health concern? Type 2 diabetes, the most common form, arises when the body struggles to use insulin effectively. Insulin, a hormone produced by your pancreas, acts like a key, unlocking your cells so they can absorb glucose from the bloodstream and use it for energy. However, in type 2 diabetes, the cells become resistant to insulin's call, leading to a buildup of glucose in the blood, a dangerous situation. The consequences are far-reaching. Globally, diabetes claims a life every six seconds. It's a leading cause of blindness, amputations, and kidney failure. But here's the good news. Type 2 diabetes can often be prevented and even reversed with lifestyle changes. Our food choices play a significant role in this battle. Processed foods, sugary drinks, and unhealthy fats contribute to insulin resistance and weight gain, two major drivers of type 2 diabetes. But don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we'll unveil the absolute best strategies for effective blood sugar control and empower you to take charge of your health. Let's talk about food. Glorious food. But hold on, before you reach for that donut, understand this. What you eat directly impacts your blood sugar levels. Imagine your body as a finely tuned machine. To run smoothly, it needs the right fuel, and that's where a balanced diet comes in. Think of your plate as a pie chart. Fill half of it with non-starchy vegetables like broccoli, spinach, and peppers. These are your low-carb superheroes, packed with fiber and nutrients that help regulate blood sugar. Next. Reserve a quarter of your plate for lean protein sources, chicken, fish, beans, tofu. These are your building blocks, keeping you full and satisfied without causing blood sugar spikes. Now, for the remaining quarter, choose healthy carbs, but remember not all carbs are created equal. Opt for complex carbohydrates like brown rice, quinoa, or sweet potatoes. These release sugar slowly into your bloodstream, preventing those dreaded sugar rushes and crashes. What about fruits? Fruits are nature's candy, but they do contain natural sugars. Enjoy them in moderation, focusing on low glycemic options like berries, apples, and pears. And please, ditch the sugary drinks. Those are just empty calories wreaking havoc on your blood sugar. Water should be your best friend. Now let's talk about portion control. You don't need to starve yourself, but be mindful of how much you're eating. A helpful trick is to use smaller plates and listen to your body. Eat when you're hungry and stop when you're comfortably satisfied, not overly full. Remember, small changes can make a big difference. Swap that white bread for whole wheat, sugary cereal for oatmeal and soda for water. It's about making sustainable changes, not depriving yourself. Think of it as a lifestyle shift, not a diet. So ditch the processed junk, embrace whole foods and watch your blood sugar. Thank you for it. In the next chapter, we'll explore another powerful tool in your diabetes management arsenal, regular exercise. Stay tuned. All right, folks, time to get those bodies moving. Exercise isn't just about fitting into your favorite genes. It's a potent medicine for blood sugar control. Think of it as a natural insulin booster. When you engage in physical activity, your muscles spring to life, demanding energy. To meet this demand, your body taps into its glucose stores, effectively lowering your blood sugar levels. But that's not all. Regular exercise also improves your insulin sensitivity, making your cells more responsive to insulin's call, allowing glucose to enter them more efficiently. Now you don't need to become a marathon runner overnight. Start small and gradually increase your activity level. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. What qualifies as moderate intensity? Think brisk walking, cycling, swimming, or even dancing. Whatever gets your heart rate up and puts a smile on your face. And hey, it doesn't have to be a chore. Find activities you genuinely enjoy. Turn on some music and dance in your living room. Take the stairs instead of the elevator. Walk your dog an extra block. Every little bit counts. Incorporate exercise into your daily routine. Walk or bike to work if possible. Take short walking breaks during your lunch break or even while watching TV. Remember, consistency is key. If you have any underlying health conditions, talk to your doctor before starting any new exercise program. They can help tailor a plan that's safe and effective for you. So ditch the excuses and get moving. Your body will thank you for it. Up next, we'll delve into the importance of medication adherence in managing your blood sugar. Now let's talk about medication. 
For some of you, lifestyle changes alone might not be enough to keep your blood sugar in check, and that's perfectly okay. Medications are powerful tools in our diabetes management arsenal. Think of your medications as your trusty sidekicks, working tirelessly behind the scenes to keep your blood sugar levels in a healthy range. They help your body use insulin more effectively, or even stimulate your pancreas to produce more insulin. But here's the catch. Medications only work if you take them as prescribed. Skipping doses or not taking them at all is like trying to fight a battle with one hand tied behind your back. I know I know, remembering to take your medications every day can be a hassle, but trust me, it's crucial for your health. Here are a few tips to make medication adherence a breeze. Use a pill organizer. This will help you keep track of your medications and ensure you don't miss a dose. Set reminders on your phone or use a medication reminder app. Keep your medications in a visible spot like your nightstand or kitchen counter. If you're having trouble affording your medications, talk to your doctor or pharmacist about potential cost-saving options. Remember, medication adherence is a partnership between you and your healthcare provider. Don't be afraid to ask questions, voice concerns, or discuss any side effects you may be experiencing. Together, you can find a medication regimen that works best for you. Stick around as we explore the often overlooked connection between stress and blood sugar in our next chapter. Let's talk about stress, that unwelcome guest that loves to overstay its welcome. We all experience stress, but did you know that chronic stress can wreak havoc on your blood sugar levels? You see, when you're stressed, your body goes into fight-or-flight mode, releasing a surge of hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. These hormones temporarily boost your blood sugar, providing your body with a quick burst of energy to deal with the perceived threat. However, when stress becomes chronic, your body remains in a heightened state of alert, leading to persistently elevated blood sugar levels. This can increase your risk of developing insulin resistance and make it harder to manage your diabetes. Now, I'm not suggesting that you can eliminate stress entirely, that's just not realistic. But the good news is that there are effective ways to manage stress and minimize its impact on your health. Think of stress management as adding tools to your toolbox. Here are a few powerful techniques to get you started. Exercise. Remember how we talked about exercise being a natural stress reliever? Well, it's true. Physical activity helps to lower those stress hormones and clear your head. Mindfulness meditation. This involves focusing your attention on the present moment without judgment. It's a great way to calm your mind and reduce anxiety. Deep breathing exercises. Taking slow, deep breaths can help to slow your heart rate and relax your body. Yoga. This ancient practice combines physical postures, breathing exercises, and meditation, making it a powerful tool for stress reduction. Finding healthy ways to manage stress is crucial for both your mental and physical health. Experiment with different techniques and see what works best for you. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Don't hesitate to reach out to a therapist or counselor if you need additional support. Stay tuned for our final chapter where we'll discuss the importance of regular blood sugar monitoring. You won't want to miss it. We've reached our final chapter and it's all about taking charge of your health through regular blood sugar monitoring. Think of your blood sugar levels as a vital sign, just like your blood pressure or heart rate. Monitoring them regularly gives you valuable insights into how your body responds to food, exercise, stress, and medication. It's like having a window into your inner workings, allowing you to make informed decisions about your diabetes management. Now the frequency of monitoring varies depending on individual needs and treatment plans. Your doctor will guide you on how often to check your blood sugar. Thankfully, we live in an age where technology has made monitoring easier than ever gone are the days of bulky finger-pricking devices. Today, we have continuous glucose monitors or CGMs that you wear on your body, providing real-time blood sugar readings throughout the day and night. These devices are game-changers, offering valuable insights into patterns and trends that might otherwise go unnoticed. But even if you're not using a CGM, regular finger-prick testing is still incredibly valuable. The key is to discuss with your doctor what method and frequency are right for you. Remember, knowledge is power. By tracking your blood sugar levels, you empower yourself to make adjustments to your diet, exercise routine, or medication regimen as needed. It's about fine-tuning your approach to achieve optimal blood sugar control. So make monitoring a non-negotiable part of your diabetes management plan. Your health is worth it. 
Guys, we've covered a ton of information today and I want to emphasize that managing type 2 diabetes doesn't have to be overwhelming. It's about making small, sustainable changes to your lifestyle that add up to big results. Remember, you're the CEO of your own health. You have the power to make choices that support your well-being. Don't be afraid to advocate for yourself, ask questions, and work closely with your healthcare team. We're all in this together. Now go out there, crush your health goals, and live your best life.